So there is a clear difference between the 10-bit AMOLED panel versus 8-bit AMOLED panel from the Icon 9 SE and Icon 9 device. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, SciTech Guru. In this video, I'm going to compare the 10-bit AMOLED panel from the ICO 9 device versus 8-bit panel from the ICO 9 SE smartphone. So right now, I'm trying to uh, play the 4K HDR video directly from the YouTube application. You can clearly see friends, direct from the YouTube. And while playing HDR videos, the brightness will be adjusted automatically. And this is exactly the same video I'm trying to play between these both phones. And try to observe is there any kind of difference between these both phones or not. In Cleese, if it's the 10 bit panel, which looks really good when compared with the Icon and SE 8 bit panel, try to observe the colors like how saturated they are in the 10 bit panel. Try to look at this exactly shadow range, can clearly observe the difference. So, the difference is kind of noticeable, guys, if you try to compare both phones side by side, if you try to use it. Yes. So and 10 bit panel feels pretty good while watching videos. So if you are looking to buy any uh, smartphone right now for the media and entertainment purpose, if you are into the more into watching videos, then definitely I would 100% recommend you to buy the 10 bit panel. So which adds really good value for the smartphone display. You can clearly see that's not a huge, but just that small difference that makes a lot of uh, sense while watching videos, especially. So do let me know in the comment section below friends what do you think did you see any kind of change did you see any kind of difference between these both phones or not regarding the 10 bit panel versus normal uh, 8 bit panel this is Ico 9 S 9 device and Ico 9 SE device so both phones from the same brand I am trying to use just to give a clear idea guys so what's happening here so between these both phones exactly so that's the main reason why I did recommend the, a lot of other users to buy the ICO 9 device instead of ICO 9 SE. So is a, another video demonstration friends side by side comparison you can definitely see in this video you can actually observe a lot of details are really good in the ICO 9 device especially in the 10 bit panel try to look at the brightness and everything which looks really good right. You can clearly see friends the difference. So that's the main reason friends why I'm trying to recommend a lot of other users as well. To in case if you do have the budget, always try to go for the 10-bit panel. If you don't have the budget, no problem. But if you do have the budget, try to prefer the 10-bit OLED panel. So that's it, friends. Thank you for watching. It's a quick demonstration and comparison between these both phones regarding the 10-bit versus 8-bit panel. So just to give a clear idea between the same manufacturer company like ico phone so i did take and as an example in this video comparison between these both phones meanwhile signing off until instead of more updates and bye